Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you how to take advantage of the stock market while it is about to happen, how to get rich from that market while it is about to happen. Now, here's what's happening. Now, a top analyst at Morgan Stanley is predicting that the market is going to uh, increase by about 6%. You know, so right now it's um, about, uh, I think it's about 3,900. So they are predicting that it's going to go up to about 4,600. Now, here's the thing, you know, a lot of people are saying, but how is that going to happen? How is that possible? Because you see with uh, the uh, quarterly earnings that were released by Amazon, by Meta, by Microsoft, and by the top five, you know, uh, big tech companies. So you see like Amazon, what's happened with Amazon? Amazon, actually, their revenue has gone up substantially. Their re revenue has gone up. I think it's gone up um, of, compared to the third quarter of 2021. It's gone up by about 9%. You know, but their income is down. I think their income is down by about uh, five to six percent. It's down now. The reason why their income is down, even though their revenue is up, is because of expenses. Their expenses are higher, and the reason why their expenses are higher is because you know over this year, because of the inflation crisis that the U.S. has been having, because of the supply chain crisis, also the Russia-Ukraine war, the Feds, the Federal Reserve Chairman, you know, Jerome Powers, has had to increase rates. And when you increase rates, what happens is that expenses go up, you know, like staff, you know, um, uh, I mean, logistics, raw materials, everything goes up. And so their expenses have gone up, and so it has driven down their profitability. So year on year, they are less profitable, even though they made more revenue. Same thing with Meta, same thing with uh, uh, Google, same thing with uh, basically all of them. The only difference is Apple. You know, Apple has sustained itself, you know, as uh, into profitability, even with all of this, you know, so Apple. But, you know, generally, you, when, when a market analysts look at the market, they take the top, the big five, uh, the top big five of these companies. And then, you know, year on year, you see that they are down, they are, they are stock price is down by about 15.2 percent and then their revenue is down by about 13.2 percent so it's an issue however you know analysts and it's not just morgan stanley you know uh, other analysts are saying that look you know because here's what's happening the rate increase by the feds has achieved what it was meant to achieve which is to force prices down so what's that happening now is that stock prices are down housing market housing prices are down so in some places housing markets are down like in florida as by by as much as 25 percent which is what they wanted because what is inflation inflation is when prices are rising faster and faster you know and then they're going up higher than income so they wanted to bring them down and they've succeeded another thing that you know made this happen is the threat by president biden to uh, tax oil companies if they do not bring down the gas gas prices and you know like energy prices you know he accused them of war profiteering now all of this you know the bottom line there is, is is that stock markets are about to rally stock prices are about to go up now you don't want to wait for them to rally as has been predicted by morgan stanley and others that i mean it doesn't make sense you know you have this knowledge buy now so buy stocks amazon has been down it was down by 25 percent last week it's uh, it's rallied up now so i think it's still down by i mean when, when you compare it year on year by about 13.2 uh, percent but buy buy amazon stock buy meta <coughs> buy amazon buy meta buy microsoft they are discounted right now soon they will be going up and then by the time they go up you know it's, it's going to be too late you have a short window of opportunity to profit from the coming stock market rally and these are people that have never been wrong because you got to understand the s p 500 has a 96 year history so when you have a 96 year history it's you know you cannot predict with specificity what is going to happen next week but you can predict with generality what's going to happen next week you know that the market is going to increase but you cannot say specifically which shares are going to increase so put your money in the s p 500 that's my financial uh, opinion now, this is not financial advice. It's my opinion. This is what I would do, and this is what I'm doing to make money. Put your money in the S&P 500. Now, some of you might be watching from Africa and saying to me, oh, Pastor Reno, how can we put money in the S&P 500? It's easy. You know, there are apps in Ghana that allow you to buy shares in the S&P 500, in the Nasdaq, in the Dow Jones, whatever kind of stock market in the United States. There's, there, 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 I mean, there are, stock, there are apps that will let you do that. If you're in Nigeria, you've got Chaka, you've got Bamboo. You know, if you are in 
Tanzania and Kenya in East Africa generally, you can go on eToro. If you're in Cambodia, a lot of my subscribers come from Cambodia and Vietnam. I don't know why. You know, you can also go on eToro. eToro works in your country. But take advantage of this opportunity because by the time the stock market rallies, then it's going to be too late because then, you know, the sale, uh, the discount is over and then you're now buying. And then, you know, anything can happen. It could go back down again. Now, I know this is a mouthful. My name is Ronald Murphy. And if you have questions, put them in the comment section of this video. And you got to remember, I do not have a WhatsApp for a Telegram channel or a Gmail email address, and I will never ask you for money. I will never give you a number approaching you in the comment sections of my videos. Those guys are spammers, they're scammers, and they're post of prosperity saying God bless you.